Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is a Creative Fold um, card, and I'm calling it a double folded card because we have a fold this way and a fold this way. So let's get started. I am using um, the Old Olive and the Elegant um, Eggplant. Um, cardstock um, to form the card and first with the elegant eggplant this measures five and a half by six and a quarter and I am going to score it at the four inch mark so I'm going to bring in my personal trimmer and score that my main card is five and a quarter by eight and I'm going to score that at the four and so that makes my two uh, flaps for my card. I've got that. Next I'm going to bring in the Big Shot and my platform. I'm going to be using um, my brick wall of folder. Let me grab that. And that elegant um, eggplant card and I just want to do the one side of the flap so just the short side so I'm just going to put that in the folder like so now I have found with the bigger folders it is best to put the fold side in first when you're running it through your Big Shot because if there's any air in that folder it can blow out that seam if you put it the other way so I think this is the best way to run it through it's going to run that through and so that gives me some design on this part of the flap Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in two pieces of um, Always Artichoke. Um, they measure two and three quarter, excuse me, they measure three inches by three and a half. The vanilla is two and three quarter by three and a quarter. And I will have all these dimensions over on my blog, stampingwithlinda.com. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat because I am going to use the flower stems. These come from um, the number set that's in the occasions catalog. And with a photopolymer, I always like to stamp on that piercing pad. Then I'm going to bring in the elegant eggplant and do some flowers. Again, this is from that number set. And I'm also going to do that little flower, do a couple of those. And then I'm going to take the Dear Friend. This is from the Birthday Blooms, again, from the Occasions Catalog. I'm going to stamp that. And I'm going to go in with my Wink of Stella. First, I'm going to use the clear. And I'm just going to add some clear on those leaves just to give some highlight. But then I'm going to go in with the gold Wink of Stella and I'm going to do the center of my flowers. I think the gold Wink of Stella we're overlooking. Um, it makes, oh, and I see that I, oh, yes I did. I brought lots of Wink of Stella over. There's my gold. Normally once you prime your Wink of Stella, it should be good. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but that gold just sets that um, flower off. So then I'm going to bring in from my stamp set that is retiring um, and I'm trying to think the name of it and right now it is leaving me. Um, 
there's cute little verses to it about um, friends and about believing she can um, do things. And so um, I've just stamped that. Again, I'll have that over on my blog because this is, oops, I just put that in the eggplant. That never happens to you, does it? I want that to be in the green. So just going to kind of put some greenery around that. And then I will go ahead and add a little flower here and there. And also add that gold wink of Stella to those little flowers. So now I'm ready to work on that flap, um, double flap card, or double opening card, whatever you want to call it, double fold card. And um, your Wink of Stella dries very quickly. So I can just turn that over. I'm going to use my Fast Fuse. And add that to the artichoke. Then what I'm going to do is to put my card together. So I have my normal fold on this side, and then I'm just going to put this card inside here for a double flap, like so. Now I see that I did not cut, let me bring in my original. My original was cut correctly. Um, it is eight inches by five and a quarter. I did not cut this card down, so I'm going to bring in my personal trimmer and I'm just going to cut that off a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to cut it so the card is actually four inches by five and a quarter. That's what I want. So when you cut, if you cut your green piece of paper, the correct side is again, it would have been five and a quarter by eight. I just forgot to trim um, that down. So I'm going to go take that um, Fast Fuse. Oh, and I'm out of Fast Fuse. Love that tape. That's why it always seems like it's out. I'm just going to use the snail, and I'm going to put it right inside, remembering that this card is a quarter of an inch smaller. So I just want to have a nice little border there. See, I didn't cut that down enough. But I'm really having a time. That's four and a quarter. Let me double check. Did I score this one wrong? Look at I scored this card at four inches, and it should have been four and a quarter. That's what I told you to score, that I was going to score it at, but I only scored it at four. So that means this inside card needs to be a quarter of an inch smaller, so it needs to be at the three and three quarter inch mark. So the card that I'm doing on the video is going to be a little bit different dimension than what my card that I showed you. And I'm just going to bring it in so you can see what I did. I scored this at four inches instead of the four and a quarter. So this card is a quarter of an inch bigger, the first one that I did. So I will go ahead and put the measurements of both. It really doesn't matter. It's a quarter of an inch um, smaller. But then I'm going to go in and I want to add that flap. So I'm just going to put this one in the inside first, kind of line it up, and then I just want to put adhesive on this side. Remember, because of the flap, I don't want to put too much adhesive, and I'm just going to close it up and line it up like so. So there you have it, a double opening um, card or a double flap card, whatever you want to call it. Again, this one measures the four and a quarter um, by five and a half. This one measures five and a half by four because I scored this wrong. It should have been scored at the four and a quarter. So either way, it works out. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon.